Let's figure out the mass of just one molecule of glucose. And to do that, what we'll do is we'll find the molar mass for glucose, and then we're just going to divide the molar mass by Avogadro's number here. So glucose, the formula for glucose, the molecular formula, that's C6H12O6. And to find the molar mass, we have 12.01 for carbon, that's grams per mole, and we have six carbon, so we multiply that by six, plus hydrogen, 1.01, .01. we have 12 hydrogens, and then oxygen, 16.00, and we have six of those. So we multiply and then add, we get grams per mole. So that's the molar mass for glucose. So now all we need to do is divide that 180.18 grams per mole, the molar mass for glucose, by Avogadro's number. That'll give us the mass of one molecule of glucose. But let's do this with conversion factors, make sure we get the right units. So we have our molar mass for glucose, and that's 180.18 grams in one mole of glucose. We multiply that by a conversion factor because we know one mole of any substance, molecules, atoms, that's Avogadro's number. So now we multiply the top, divide by the bottom. We have moles on top and bottom. That cancels out. We're going to get grams. So our final answer is 29.93 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. And that's how many grams we have in one molecule of glucose. You could also convert this to scientific notation. That would give you same number, just different format. So to recap, to get the mass of one molecule of glucose, C6H12O6, we found the molar mass, we divided that by Avogadro's number, and that gave us the number of grams in one molecule of glucose. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.